We're finishing up our investigation here. I'm gonna wait for a second. Do you want me to take the picture? No, it's not, not a picture. Not it's not a picture, it's video. You can go ahead and go back. What's going on? <laughs> Ready yet? Fat-free noodles, miracle noodles, silicone, <laughs> calorie-free, fat-free, no sugar, no nothing. It's a breast See? implant. <laughs> Jiggle, watch it. If you look real careful. Looks like a breast implant. It does. That's disgusting. And he had to eat that. Oh, God. I think that was my own earpiece that just touched me and scared me a little bit. All right. It sent you a text message. What did it say? Yeah, don't start wafting now. Yeah, let me, let me concentrate. Hold on. Don't you dare, because I will kick your butt. Don't. Wafting, wafting. Oh, can you smell it? It's a bit like carrots and throw up. Uh. Oh. He just likes to gross me out all the time. It's disgusting. But I'm not grossing you out. He's like the, like if, like seriously, like if you want to lose some weight, be around him for a while. Cause every time you get hungry, you'll just get grossed out by anything he says or does. And you'll just like not want to eat and lose like 20 pounds in like two weeks because of him. Hey, you think I could become like a dietitian? Yeah, or, probably. You know, something like that. Yeah, really like awful one, but you would definitely get people to lose weight. Well, then that would make me a really good one. <laughs> well, the way that you'd go about it is pretty bad. It's like grossing people out so that they like literally do not have an appetite anymore because they're too like grossed out. Hey, as long as it works couple of people vomit I mean shouldn't be a bad thing they should be happy I just hope that, that nobody else has to suffer the awful nausea and vomiting that you've caused me sometimes and, and y'all wonder how she keeps her figure good and she's blaming me mm-hmm she should be thanking me you ever heard of a Dutch oven he did that to me one night when he was on some awful medication. He came home from the hospital one day and I was sleeping soundly and peacefully. Then all of a sudden the blanket went over my head and I couldn't get out. I was like moving the blanket everywhere and he just like let loose. And I swear to God, that was the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. Worse than like 10 skunks, I'm sure. Like I threw up in the bed, he wouldn't let me out. She exaggerates. It wasn't that bad. Oh, it was. And you were laughing. You wouldn't let me out of the bed. I don't remember any of that. Yeah, of course. The medication made you forget. <laughs> yeah? That was the most messed up thing anyone's ever done to me. What's going on? <laughs>